Hello and welcome along to Mondo Talk About Movies. My name is John. In this video is going to be what pickups I've got in the last month or so on 4K and Blu-ray. Now, I might have shown some of these before. I don't think I have, but I'm going to go through them. I'm going to put some screenshots on, as always. Now, do take these screenshots with a pinch of salt because uh, what I do is I just point my camera at the screen and I take some snapshots, but it'll kind of reinforce what I'm talking about in this picture quality on these discs. So, first up, in the two for £15 sale, I saw these ones, I've been after these ones for so long on Blu-ray, and I thought, right, this is the time. And I'm so glad I did, because I nearly picked these up a couple of times before. So first up, I got Class of 1999. When I keep looking at this movie, it's always full price. I always think, have I got this in the collection? But I hadn't. Anyway, so I picked this up, and I have seen this a long time ago, and it's one of those 80s movies where you kind of get the same kind of tropes in it, but I, I quite like that. I think 80s movies with this kind of class, and they're all unruly and they're out to sort of get each other. I think they're all quite, pretty enjoyable types of movies. So happy to get that one. Of course, when I got that one, I had to get another one. This is the other one I've been after probably for the longest time. I've seen it many times before to buy, but I've never picked it up. And I saw this back in the day on video. It is The Wraith. Now, my good friend John Hall sent me over the DVD of this movie and I was going to watch it. But I saw this for this cheap price. I did ask Nige from Rock God 2004, linked down below, his views on what he thought the picture quality, because I thought if the picture quality on this isn't that good, I'll stick with the DVD. But the picture quality in here is absolutely superb. And this, this movie is a great movie. It's very 80s, which I like. And the sort of the, the sort of premise of this movie where this this kid kind of comes back as a wraith is really ridiculous but it's kind of done in a way where you can kind of not believe it but it's kind of a little bit believable but of course it's got some great stars in here Charlie Sheen and Sherilyn Fenn who looks amazing in this movie this must be one of her first roles and it's got a uh, Randy Quaid, Quaid's in this one who's always great and Nick Cassavetes who is absolutely what a scumbag he is in this movie actually the whole the whole crew of these people and also you do get as well clint howard from evil speak with the most like a razor head eat your heart out haircut but yeah great movie great transfer great package as well so that's the wraith next i went to cex twice because i was looking at this this set and i thought ever ever since i got rid of these movies i've always regretted it because when i got the updated versions of these because these are like the 2K, these are the 2K versions. There's a 4K remastered Blu-ray and upgraded to that. But I was so sort of disappointed to see that these covers weren't featured in this new like box set. Great box set, but I just thought, wow, I've, I feel like I've been cheated here. And I, was, and I got rid of them at the time to get that box set. So it kind of paid for the box set. But I really regretted it. This is one of the ones that I've more regretted than anything else. And when I saw them, I thought... Yep, I'm going to get them. I picked up two of them. I looked online. I should have looked online when I was in the shop because it said, oh, you've got the other two are in uh, No Shield CX. So I picked up to get back in the collection The Big Boss, Fist of Fury, The Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death. Now, the reason why I've got this, these is because these covers are just so iconic to me. Now, you could say, well, why don't you get the VHS ones from Rank Video? This is what these are taken off. And that's a great way to have these that are flippable out. That's the original, that's the remastered box set there. And the the thing is with, if I wanted to get the Rank Videos, I think I saw one on eBay, it was about 50 pounds. And it was just basically like the cover was stuck onto another box and the cover was all raggy. So I think if you wanted to get the original Rank Videos of these, which are cut to shreds, you would pay a lot of money for them. I mean, you're probably talking about 200 quid for one. That sort of crazy money. But these covers on here are so iconic. I just couldn't let them go. Plus, it's got all the booklets in as well. And yes, they're not the, they're quite unnecessary for me, although I will watch some of the extras on here. I've all got the booklets in there. And they're in great condition. Actually, when I got rid of mine a couple of years ago, maybe these are mine come back to me. I highly doubt it, but you never know. So these would look great on the shelf. I used to look at these all the time, actually. 
if anyone asks me what my favorite artwork is on a, on a movie, I'm going to say it's probably this one. So I'm going to put them where they belong in their rightful place, which is there. There they are. And I'm so glad to get them back in the collection. I really regretted selling those uh, movies or those versions of those movies. Like I say, I don't really need them. I've got them time and time again. But uh, the Bruce Lee stuff, that's the stuff I, re I regretted the most in selling. And they look excellent on the shelf. I just, when I walk past, I always get a, even the spines, I get a blast out the spines. So that's the Bruce Lee kind of original collection from medium rare. Next up is Drunken Master 2. Now when I heard this was getting released uh, with Rumble in the Bronx, I thought I have got to get this uh, this movie because I haven't got it. I have heard that it's been out before. It hasn't been the best of qualities. And I thought, right, I'm going to get this on this nice edition. And the edition is good. But what the, what I found out with this edition is, yes, it's this E-Cine edition. And I thought myself, I don't think I've got any more of these ones. And I'll tell you the reason why I don't think I've got any more of them is because when I get the, the Blu-ray out of here, I thought, I'm pretty sure this is the Blu-ray the Blu-ray that was out before. And I don't think it's meant to be the best of Blu-rays. It's all right. It's adequate. I mean, the picture quality is pretty decent. And it's a great movie as well. To be honest, for the £24 that you're paying for it, you're getting a previously released Blu-ray, and you're also getting like a pack of cards. You get a, a booklet actually here. Booklet's okay. You get some uh, pictures in here. No text, just pictures. You get these R cards, nice R cards, double sided, glossy on one side and matte on the other. Great movie, this. It was weird that Jackie Chan did a sequel to Drunken Master, which is from 1978, I believe, and this is 1994. It's crazy that he left it so long. I don't know why he went back to a traditional Kung Fu movie after such a long length of time. You do get a poster here, double-sided poster, I think. And it's it's okay. It's not a bad poster. It's not the best of posters. Basically, when these cine editions come out, they're just a repackaging of what was available before, sadly. So that's Drunken Master 2. Great film, though. Next up, I got... From CX, Wolf Creek 2, Season 2. This is the second part of the, this TV series. There's only two parts, two seasons in it. And I've got the second part. I've watched a bit of the start of this one. It looks absolutely brilliant. As all of the, everything I've seen from Wolf Creek, I've thoroughly been uh, invested in. People say that Season 1 isn't as good as Season 2. I thought Season 1 was quite good. Now, John Jarrett or Mick Taylor is in this a lot more in this one so it'll be great as all the other stuff is so that's wolf creek season two next up i got i am weekender now this was in cex for 10 pounds and it's a great little release from bfi and what it is is if you've seen it before the music video or flowered up the band flowered up they had a song called weekender and it was a real, one of those uh, those videos you used to put on MTV late at night, along with Smack My Bitch Up, or what was the other one, the Metallica one? Uh, Whiskey in the Jar, when they were a bit more adult orientated. This one's more to do with drugs and stuff like that. It's a great package, great uh, release here. But what you get is you get the, the uncut full version. I think it's three, 35 minutes long, the video to Weekender. And then you get a behind the scenes sort of redoing a documentary about the thing called I Am Weekend. And you get some outtakes and uh, different different bits that they didn't put into this music video. It's quite interesting as well. And it's got a lovely slip. But when I took the stickers off, you know, you get a sticker around here and also the price sticker. If you can see it there. I don't know if it shows up in here. But all the gloss. Yeah, there it is. All the gloss of this high gloss slipcover, which is amazing, just got taken off with a sticker, which is great, isn't it? I mean, that's what you want to do. You want to get something and say, I can't wait to get home and destroy this. But anyway, looks all right in the shells. Quite a good release as well. Got to, It's been remastered as well, and the remaster is really good on this uh, this presentation. So that's I Am Weekender. 
Next from HMV, I got Vampira. I've always been interested in this movie, and I knew that the picture quality in here wasn't that great. It's just, it is what it is. Got no special feature on it at all. I know it's a comedy of such. Now, David Niven plays Dracula, and he, he sort of gets these people to his house, well, his, his castle, and he's got a henchman there, and the henchman dresses up like Dracula, and he pretends to be like the servant, but he's just after, obviously, blood and that. And he's got Linda Hayden here as well, in a, in a part. And, yeah, it's a, it's a strange movie. It's a funny movie, actually. I quite enjoyed it. It's a bit odd. But I've got to say, at the end of this movie, is a, without, I won't tell you what happens at the end, but it's one of the most un-PC endings you'll ever see. And these days, it would not be allowed. It would be frowned upon massively. But it is what it is from the day, and I think it's 1972, if I had to guess. But yeah, good movie, and but I was quite surprised at the ending of it. I thought, wow, they really went there. But anyway, yeah, but it, I thought it was a, a good laugh. But the pitch quality in it, as you can see from the screenshot, isn't that great. That's Vampira. That was £8, actually. Yeah, I think £8. Next up I got from HMV, Children Shouldn't Play With Dead Things. Now, when I got this one, actually, when I was looking at it, I thought, why? is It's from the back label there, and it doesn't seem to have any one of them boxes. And this is brand new, £15. I thought, hmm, why is that not a thing anymore? But I've been after this movie for quite a bit. Actually, I was going to get it from the States, and because I've read good things, and I've heard saw trailers of it, and I thought, yeah, I'll get this one. But I, I couldn't believe that they were going to put it out, so I went immediately and got it. But it looks great, actually, considering what it was. And I'm trying to think, what year is this from? I'm not too sure. It usually tells you what the year is. 1972. And it was an old one. This looks ultra low budget. And I think what happens is they, this gang go to a cemetery. They dig somebody up. And the corpse kind of comes back to life as a zombie. And it kind of runs rampage, I believe. But I don't know any more than that. But I'm really interested to watch this. And this label here, it's got some good stuff in it. This uh, black label gets some great movies. I don't know why it's not got a hard box on it, because all the other ones have. But anyway, you know, it is what it is, as I say. So that's children shouldn't play with dead things. And then you shouldn't. So next up I got, and I don't know if I showed these two before, but I'm pretty sure I might have done, but I'm not too sure, but I'll show them again. Guardians of the Galaxy. And Guardians of the Galaxy 2. These, are, we went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 3, and what a great time it is. I've always had a great time with this this uh, this trilogy, and I can't wait to get the third one. I don't usually buy Marvel ones that much, but on the ones I do watch, especially on uh, this was only, these were two for £24, couldn't grumble with that. I know the slipcovers don't match, but that's not a, not a problem to me at all. So me and the devs have a blast for these movies. That's Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and Volume 2. Next up, from CX, for £5, I've got Sully. I don't know if I've shown this one before. I don't think I have. Now, when I went in, I thought, oh, that's not bad for £5. It's quite a good story. We uh, we like stories like that. The devs wants to watch this one. It's directed by Clint Eastwood as well, which makes me think, I need to see more of his movies he's directed because... He's a great actor, and I do think that he's probably done some great movies directorial. And so I saw this five pound. I thought you cannot, you cannot uh, go wrong with that. So when I noticed it, I thought, hang on a minute, this is a thin case. So it's a, it's a US version. Now everybody knows when you go to CX and you trade in your US versions, you say, oh, I can't take them because it's not a UK version. And you say, well, I've bought stuff from you in the past and they say well you shouldn't have and I say well I have done haven't I I wouldn't be standing here saying I have done if I haven't done and it bites first and back and forth see the funny thing is about Clint Eastwood all his movies that he makes are kind of Clint Eastwood movies and you kind of think oh I can understand why he did that but the director of the ones he do he does are a bit different to what he normally would star in kind of but yeah picture quality great and you know you can't for five pounds you can't knock it that's silly Next up, I got, and I, I'm pretty sure I haven't shown these before, but I wanted to talk about them because they're so so good in quality. Next, I got Red Eye. 
this would have been in a sale probably two for 15 pounds two for 30 pounds shall i say and i heard a lot of people saying this is a great movie dead short as well i think and it's it's directed by wes craven as well it's one of his later films i haven't seen many of his later films and it takes place on a plane in a very closed environment which i like i like things like that i like things that take part on boats as you know but a closed environment where killers are run, running rampage so i put this on and i've got to say that the picture quality was absolutely stunning as i've heard before people are saying you know how good it is and the quality but they reckon it's a good movie as well and yeah it's got a good cast and i thought yep yeah, i will get this there's a lot of movies i've got i'm still waiting for them to go into sale for two for 30 pounds or less two for 24 pounds and I think that uh, the minute HMV have some good sales on, so I'll probably be picking up all the 4Ks that I've been holding off on because it's still a full price of £30 or £20. I'm thinking, no chance. I've got to get them in a sale because I like to pick me 4Ks up, just regular 4Ks like this. I like to pick them up in the sale and I feel better for getting them. And it's uh, I know I pay a bit more for your boutique labels, but you know they deliver a lot more than just a regular uh, case like this. So that's Red Eye. And the last one here is a great movie. I'm so amazed. I did buy it in Blu-ray. And of course, what happened? It came up with 4K. I didn't think it would have done. And it's The City of Lost Children. This looks amazing on Blu-ray. And I thought this has got to look on, good on 4K because the actual visual um, of this movie, the visuals of it, is stunning. The set pieces, I've never known sets like it. The kind of, what you see is no CGI. It's all the practical stuff and it's mind bending how they've got this stuff done. A previous movie by this couple of directors, I think two directors do these movies, is Delicatessen, which I think is one of the best movies out there. And it's going to come out in 4K, which I think brilliant. That's one of the ones that I would love to get in 4K. I never thought it would have done, but here it is, it's going to come out. And it's if you like this movie, you've got to see Delicatessen. For me, Delicatessen is much better than this movie. I'm not taking anything away from it because I think it's a great movie. But yeah, the picture quality is absolutely stunning. If you're a fan of Tim Burton, especially the look of Tim Burton's films, you will love this movie. It's got everything going about it. I'm not going to say it's got a film by Jeanette and Carol. I don't think it's been done by what's that? Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier it might be because the actual the, the costumes and everything are, are crazy and just look amazing it's got the same bloke in here was in Delicatessen that's a great it's just a great movie one of the best ones I've seen I can't wait for that to come out with 4k so that's me up to date with my 4ks and my blu-rays that I've got and I'm so happy to finally get those back in the collection so thanks for watching you take care and I'll see you on the next video cheers